child. What she didn't admit on the phone, was that she had smoked marijuana laced with PCP, and she did not simply stab the child, she had decapitated him, and put the severed head in the refrigerator. When officers eventually entered her home, they found Siobhan dead. She had cut her own throat. Keep thinking that. Keep thinking that. Keep thinking that. No, I want where's your emergency? Um, yes. Somebody just stabbed my baby. Please get here. They just did what? Stabbed my baby. Do they know who it was, ma'am? Yes, it's my ex. It's my boyfriend. My current boyfriend. What's your address? Um, 1415 Kane. You know what? Does he be a last name? You, you know what? You, I did it. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I did it. Does he need an ambulance, ma'am? Um, no. I mean, no. He don't need, no. What's your name? Siobhan Thomas. Siobhan Thomas. Siobhan, Siobhan. What's your phone number, Siobhan? You know what? Hello? You know what? Siobhan. You know what? Siobhan. Yes. All right, you said your baby was stabbed. Is your your son? Yes. How old is he? Yes. Yes. Siobhan. Yes. How old is he? Yes. Siobhan. Yes. How old is your son? My son is two. He is too. He was he was the one that was stabbed. Yes. He was stabbed with what? A knife. Right. Is he bleeding? Where is he bleeding? Is he bleeding from anywhere? No. I mean he is, but not not much. Not. From where? Not much. Siobhan, where is he bleeding from? Not much. He's not bleeding that much. Where's your boyfriend at? Um, I think. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. Savon, where's he at? My boyfriend is, is going to come in the back door. He's going to come in the back door. So who did it? Did he, your boyfriend stabbed him? Yep. I knew it. Who else was in the house? No. Nope. Who else is in the house? Nobody. Nobody at all. Nobody. Nobody at all. And the boyfriend is outside? Yep. Yep. You guys were fighting? Yep. Yep. Send the officers out there, okay? Yep. You're at 1415 yep. Kane Avenue, right? Yep. Yep. All right, we'll send somebody out there. Yep. You better, wait. Wait, you know what? I don't even want to play this. I'm, I did it, okay? I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Stay, stay on the phone, okay? I keep trying to make it. I'm about to, no, I got to find some money. I got to. Survive. I got to try, try to find some money. I got to. I got to. I got to. I don't care. I have to try to find it. I'm going to try to find it. I'm going to try to find the money. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Um, do what you got to do. 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 Do it. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Do it. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, ma'am? Nope. Nope. Hello? Nope. Nope. Hello? Nope. Nope. I knew it. I, <laughs> Siobhan. What? What's the problem? I knew, it. I knew it. You knew what? I knew it. Knew what? I knew it. What did you know, Siobhan? I know. You need the police? I know. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. You need the police? No. Mm-mm. I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing. How old are you, Siobhan? I don't need nothing. I, I'm 33. You're 33? 33 years old. Where, where do you live at? Um, uh, 1058. Where? 1058. 1058 what? Um, 10. 10. 1058 what? Well, Siobhan. You know 
want is one. Who lives at 14, 15 Kings? Nobody. <laughs> Not me. Not and my you. boyfriend is right here. He's right. You know what? Can I speak to him? They swear. They swear. Swear. Do you take medicine? Swear. I used to. What kind did you take? Um, Prozac. Prozac. Oh, okay. Um, you don't take it anymore? Nope. Okay. What's um, your name? Wait, 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 wait. I do. You still take I it? I do. I still take it. Did you take it today? I still take it. Um, I, I still take it. No. I didn't. No. No. I didn't take it today, but I should have. Okay. I should have. Where are you? I should have took it today. She didn't I take her Prozac today, she's saying. But she didn't take I did. Today. I did. I did. Oh, now she said she did. Keep playing. Who, who's keep playing? Keep playing. Okay. Where are you at right now? Hello? I don't hear one. Siobhan, did she hang up? Hello? I ain't hang up. I ain't hanging up. I ain't hanging up. Who do you live with? <laughs> Whatever. Keep thinking that. Keep thinking what, ma'am? Keep thinking that. Who do you live with? So keep thinking that. Who do you live with? Keep thinking that. Are you home by yourself? Yep. Is, does anyone live with you? Uh, keep thinking that. Keep thinking what, ma'am? Keep thinking that. Siobhan. On February 8, 2020, Stephanie Swigard called police to confess to shooting her husband to death. She claimed it was not murder, but self-defense. Her husband, who had a history of domestic violence, came at her with a knife, so she shot him to protect herself. Her 911 call is heartbreaking, as you can clearly see she is torn between being thankful the ordeal is over, but completely shell-shocked about what happened. After an investigation, all charges were dropped and Stephanie was found to have acted in self-defense. <laughs> My husband is just beating me, I just killed him! You what? <laughs> what is the address? I'm going to give you a rhyme. Okay, I'm going to go down. I need you to tell me what the address is. 255. St. Mary's, Ohio. What do you mean by you just killing me? He was beating me. He was going to kill me. Okay. He had a knife. Okay, what, where's the knife at now? He's dead. He's in the closet. He's dead in the closet. How did you do that? I stuck my gun from the other side of the room before he could find it. You shot him? I did. Okay. Okay, I need you. Are you there by yourself other than with him? I am, okay. yes. What I need you to do is I need you to place the gun someplace secure outside of that okay, room. It's in, my, it's in my pocket. I brought it with me. Okay, where are I'm you at? I'm in the living room. I'm in the living room. Okay, what I need to do is I want you to set the gun down. Okay. Okay? And I do yeah. not I do not want you to leave or move the room. Is your front door unlocked? I'm sitting in front of it. It's open. It's open? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I need you to have your hands up and just clear where the, okay. the officers can okay. see everything, okay? Okay. I Should I move down. away from the gun? Yes. I need you to step I, away I can from go the gun. Sit. Okay. Stay I'm going to go room somewhere else. I can still see you, but I need you to okay. step away from that gun. Absolutely. I'll even open the blinds so they can okay. see me. What is your name? Stephanie Swagger. Stephanie Swagger? Yep. Okay, so do you have your do you know your social security number? Yeah. Okay, I just need you to calm down and I need you to stay with me and stay where you are, okay? So that I can explain to the guys when they come over there. Okay. Okay. The gun is yeah, now the gun is in the living room. Where's it at in the, the living gun room? Is, the gun is I am sitting on the couch and the gun is sitting like two feet away from the front door. I left okay. it sitting there because that's where I stopped because I was gonna run. But I, I don't know. Okay. I'm scared. I don't know. I, okay. I just thought. I don't know. Okay. All right. We're getting home there, okay? Okay. Okay. You're sitting on the couch? I am. Okay. I'm sorry. Honey, we'll take care of things. We'll figure out what's going on when we get there, okay? I just need to say. Okay. I need you to stay calm. I'm calm. 
Okay. I just really want to call my mom. Okay, well, we can't do any of that until I get I somebody know. there. I know. <laughs> okay, you said he's in the bedroom? Yeah, he's in the closet in the bedroom. We had a walk-in closet. Okay. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay, I have a lot of people coming. So if they, whatever they okay. advise you to do, I want you to do, but I want you to stay calm, okay? And okay, like I said, I the, the gun is not by you, right? No. It's, okay, it's by the room. door on the coffee table. It's on the floor. It's on by the, the floor door. by the door. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a small Ruger, small little handgun. It's nothing crazy. Okay, I got it a as a gift. Hang on a second. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, don't be surprised if they walk in and they have their weapons drawn, okay? It's fine. The door, I'll see them because I, I have the blinds open and the door. Mail would be There's in the a... bedroom in the closet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, when did all this happen? Just now, I immediately called. And I ran because I was trying to get... A, he made me go back in the bedroom after physically assaulting me in the living room. He told me that if I didn't go to the bedroom he was gonna hurt me he was gonna stab me he had a knife and okay. I just I just listened I didn't know what else to do so my phone was in the living room someone's here I think okay or All someone right. drove by I don't know yeah there's somebody okay I need you to the go, guns right I need you door. to go to outside okay okay keep your hands out of your pocket Keep my hands are in my pocket, up up in the, the air. phone, one's up. Okay, as long as you have the phone on your hand, you're good. But keep your hands up in the air and slowly walk outside. Who is this? It's going to be a police officer. What are you doing? Who are you talking to? Uh, a guy that is here that is a friend of his. Who is it? His name is, is Johnny Baker. No, the police officers are here as well. Okay, tell Johnny to step back for me. Okay, they're they're here. They got him. Okay, my hands are up. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Oh You're my welcome. God. Bye bye. On July twenty second, twenty ten, in Dallas, Texas, thirty year old psycho actor dialed 911 to report that she had just strangled her two children to death. She claimed that her children, ages 5 and 2, were autistic, and she murdered them because she did not want to be a mother to abnormal children. Following her arrest, Psycho was diagnosed with schizophrenia, and was found not guilty by reason of insanity. In the following 911 call, her complete lack of emotion when detailing her children's deaths is disturbing. Although her English is somewhat broken, and it's clearly not her native tongue, she could speak it well enough. She is just devoid of humanity. What's going on there? I killed them. I killed both of them. You killed both of them? Yeah, I killed my both kids. Did you kill something or did you break something? I killed my kids, my children. I killed my, I killed my children, children. You killed your children? Yeah, I killed them, both of them. How did you do that, ma'am? I don't know. I just killed them. Well, how old are your children? Three and six. I killed them. Three and six? I killed both of them. What did you use? Did you use a gun? Did you use a knife? No. It's a wire. Uh I use a wire on their neck. You use what, dear? Wire, wire on their neck. You use wire on their neck? Yeah. What kind of wire? I don't know. They are not doing anything. They are just blue, and they are like, they are not taking any breath, and they are, uh, their heart is not beating. They okay, are... they're both blue? Yeah. 
I know the police will come to pick me. Okay, why did you do this? They both are normal, non normal. They are autistic. Both are autistic. Both are what, dear? Autistic. I don't want my kid to be like that. They're both autistic? I don't want, I want normal kids. Okay, well, just stay with me and talk to me, okay? Okay. Where did you get the wire? It's from my apartment somewhere. First, I tried to give them uh, the bathroom cleaner. I put in their mouth, but they don't bring it. I want them to bring it. They don't bring it. So there's a wire near. So I just grab their neck, and then I try so many times, and then... They are no more. Okay. Tell me what you're feeling. Nothing. You're not feeling nothing? Nothing. With the phone in your hand, I want you to walk outside and meet with my officer. But stay on the phone with okay. me. I'm coming. I just put... I'm coming. Stay right there, Stay right there. Okay. Go ahead and put the phone down. On February 13, 2016, Ezra Simon Daniels, phoned 911, and gave a bizarre story. He claimed he went to bed in his grandparents' home, but woke up in his car in a Walmart parking lot, covered in blood. He claims he doesn't know how he got there, or whose blood was on him. However, after an investigation, officers found Ezra's grandparents dead in their bed. Their heads had been obliterated with a baseball bat. Although he claims to not have any memory of the crime, he was still charged with two counts of murder. Do you believe him? What's going on? Okay. Now one emergency, 122. Reading, Tennessee, Somerset County with a transfer. I have a caller on the line, Ezra. He's in an Audi in the parking lot of Walmart. He doesn't remember how he got there, but he woke up in the vehicle and he says he's covered in blood. Okay, what Walmart? I'm not wearing any shoes. Okay, what Walmart are you at? Uh, the polar cup. Okay. Do you don't remember how you got there? I have no idea, sir. He said he was leaving from his grandmother's house at 115 Reddington Road. That's what he remembers last. Well, I don't remember it. I just assume that's where I came from. Okay, what is your name? My name is Ezra. How do you spell that? E-Z-R-A. What's your last name? Simon, S-I-M-O-N, with the hyphen and Daniels. Okay, and your phone number is. Yes. And the last thing I remember, I was I, I had pizza and I was watching television and I went to bed. Okay, and you're bleeding from where? I'm not bleeding. I don't think from anywhere I checked. Uh, but there's blood all over. All over what? Me, my my legs, my feet, and my hands. Can you hold on one second for me? I'm going to send someone out to you. Hold on one second. All right. I don't have my identification with me. I, it must be at home. Okay, hold uh, I don't know. Hold on one second. And, and well, what was your name again, sir? I'm operator 122. I'm going to send someone out. Just stay on the phone. Thank you. Hold on. Okay, you don't, what, what, what is your last memory? I was having pizza and... Pizza where? In, in the living room of my house. The last memory was having pizza at his house and then went to bed. What kind of car are you in? An Audi. What kind of Audi? Um... Is it your car? No, this is my grandpa's car. The A something. 32 and Ruth Walmart. And um, where do your grandparents live? And what is your address? I live. I live there. Okay. Okay. What's your date of birth? August fifteenth, nineteen ninety-five. Oh eight, fifteen ninety-five. 
Okay, I'm gonna stay on the phone until someone gets there. Um, do you see anything else in the car? I mean, is there anything? There's nothing. There's, there's a pouch kind of thing on the back seat and some tissues and the down the cup holder kind of thing that would come down from the back seat is out and the trunk is exposed. So what's in the trunk? Um, oh, I can't see the lights are not on, but I I don't know. I can't, I don't know what's in the trunk. I can check if you'd like. Um, well, no, I mean, I just stay in the car. It's, it's okay. really cold and is the car running or no? Yeah, the car's on still. Okay. So your last was having pizza. You don't remember... You don't remember anything at all? The only thing I remember before that, I was playing guitar a little bit and practicing scales. Okay. Hold on, hold on one second. I'm going to try to find your driver's license. Hold on. Okay. I have your license. that would have made you forget something? Have you been sick or? I, the only thing I would have taken was a melatonin supplement the night before last. Okay, but besides, um, besides your grandparents being there, where, was there a friend over? Was there? No, I haven't seen anyone in a while. Okay. What um? What's your grandparents' phone number? Uh, the house number, the cell. The uh, house. Your. You woke up in the car. Correct. That's correct. You woke up in the car. Yeah. And it was running. Is there is it damaged anywhere? I haven't gotten out the check. Well, can you tell? Based on being in the car, do you see there, is there any damage anywhere? No. Hold on. Okay, I mean, is, uh, the car is running, are there any, like, indicator lights that show that there might be a problem, or... Airbags go off, nothing? No. No? Okay, when you when you look at yourself, like your face and stuff, do you see anything, like, broken or...? No, there's blood spattered on it. Did, you don't have shoes on. I don't have any shoes. And there's blood on your feet? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stay on the phone. Someone's coming out to you. Just Thank you. hold on one second. I got the seat heaters on, but I, I like shake. shaking. Okay, was well, the heat on the car? Uh, it's on 71, and the heat, the seat heater is on. And the car is running? Yeah. Okay, well, just turn the heat, just turn the heat up. Thank you. On the car. Uh, I'm going to be here. Just hold, hold on one second. Okay, you still cold? No, I'm much warmer now, thank you. Okay. Do you see... 2213, Okay, do you see a police car? Hold on one second. Yeah, I do. You do see a police car? I do see it, yeah. Okay, I'll stay on the phone until he comes to your car. Thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. You see two cars? Yeah, I do see two cars. Okay, well, okay, very good. I'm going to let you go. All right. Thank okay, you so bye.
The following 911 call is different from the rest. Instead of one call, there are several. I have included all known 911 calls about this particular incident, as it is important to the story. On June 4, 2020, 16-year-old, Fitz Thomas, drowned in a Virginia creek. Many people in the area saw him struggling in the water, and phoned the emergency services to get immediate help for the boy, who was now unconscious. Unfortunately, it took, well over 20 minutes for emergency workers to arrive, and when they did, they went to the wrong side of the park. This case has caused a lot of controversy, because it's claimed that Fitz Thomas could have been saved if medics could have got there earlier. The biggest issue with this case is how confused the 911 operators were. Not only did they keep repeating that medics were there, which they weren't, as they went to the wrong side, but they kept redirecting the callers to other departments, which caused massive delays. Obviously, 911 operators work extremely hard, and are, most of the time, prompt and professional. In this case however, they do seem completely unprepared and uneducated on how to proceed. What do you think? Latin Kenny 911, what is your emergency? Hi, we called about um, someone in River Creek and they went to the Maryland side of River Creek and we're on the Virginia side and okay. someone's drowning. Okay, are they in Montgomery County? I don't know, we can see okay. them from across the Potomac. Okay, stay on the line with me, okay? I'm going to transfer you to Montgomery. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Montgomery County 911, what's the address of the emergency? This is Lionel with the Hi. transfer, go ahead. Thank you. Caller, what's the address? Um, we're in Montgomery, uh, what is it? There's some... Lannan County 911, what's your emergency? Okay, they, they, I, we're down at the River Creek um, Little Park, and some kids had called in because a kid got, they can't find him, is in the water, and it looks like the EMS went to the wrong side of the river. They're over on the Maryland side. But we need okay. EMS down here in, in River Creek, River Creek community, down okay. at the Confluence Park in River Creek. There's a kid okay. that is under the water, they cannot find him. Okay, hold on one moment for me, okay? I got them on. I got them on the line, honey. Say that, Roxy. Stay. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am, just so you know, yeah. since yeah. since he is in the river, that's in Montgomery. So I do have to transfer you. Okay. It's, it's, it's Goose Creek, though. It's not I, I, know, I know, but because they're in the water, it's considered Montgomery County. Yeah, but the problem is EMS was across the river. You, they were not I'm, I'm, right. I'm going to try and talk to them while I have you on the phone Montgomery so I can give them. Okay, we need the it's been under the water for a while now. Ma really Ma'am, I, I understand. I understand. We do. I've got Montgomery on the phone. This is loud, and this is about the kid in the water there at Goose Creek. Hello? Yes. Hello. Listen. Yes. yes. What Hello. is the address of your emergency, yes. ma'am? It's 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 River Creek Confluence Park, okay. River Creek Community in Leesburg, not on the Maryland side. The EMS is across the river. We can see them. They're on the wrong okay. side of the river. We are in Goose Creek on the Leesburg side, in between River Creek Community and Lansdowne Community. And there's a kid that they can't find him. Okay. He's under Hang the water. On one moment, ma'am. Let me just pull up the call. Hang on one moment. We need EMS. We need a, we need a Leesburg EMS here immediately. One moment, ma'am. Do they see you? Ma'am, there's a helicopter above us now. Is that okay, a Montgomery they... County helicopter? I'm not sure, ma'am. Do they see you? Uh, I mean, they're right there. It's News 4. Forget it. It's News 4. So. Okay. But the current's going out. Like. Right, just bear with me one moment. And you said you're in Goose River? 
where Goose Creek, uh, Goose Creek flows into the Potomac River. So it's right at the mouth where Goose Creek flows into Potomac River. Okay. Uh oh, no, they think no. they found them. Shit, they found them. They found them. Oh my God. Okay, oh my they God. have. Lamb County 911, what is your emergency? Montgomery County with a transfer. <laughs> Ma'am, what park are you at? We're in River Creek, Loudoun County. We're in Confluence Park inside of River Creek. Okay, are, okay, okay. okay what's going on? Th this is Montgomery. She, she said somebody drowned and there's a helicopter that was we just looking at We just found him and he's, he's unconscious. He's unconscious. Okay, is he out of the water or? Okay, where are you at out of the water? Uh, there's a dock inside of Confluence Park, inside of River Creek. It's past the golf club. Past the golf club? Under the golf club. I, I need it. All right, Loudon. Okay, yeah. It looks, like, it looks like we are handling it. You can hang up. I'm going to talk to her. Okay, thank you. Len Kenny 911, what is your emergency? Yeah, come right below. Please get down here. River Creek, Goose Creek, uh, at Confluence Park. They just pulled the kid out of the water. He's drowned. Please. Okay, are okay. Are you? Is are they in Montgomery County? No, we're in fucking Loudoun County, Leesburg. Okay, what's the address there? <laughs> it's it's River Creek Community. God, is he? You guys, come on, can you please? Okay, I need... Lewis Park, River Creek. No, we're on out in County Leesburg, Virginia. How are you not getting this? River Creek community. Okay, ma'am. Olympic Drive. Hurry up, the kid is... Come on, I don't think he's going to... I need an address. Olympic Drive to Lewis Park. Come on, let me get up there. What? We are on the amount of Goose Creek and, and, and um, How did River, in River Creek communities, off of River Creek Parkway, Olympic I'm Boulevard, please. Eddie. Ma'am, are you still there? Hold that phone, I don't um, Eddie. Maybe. No, no, mouth, no, mouth and mouth. Not space. Not, not, this is compression speed. It's gotta be faster than that. Okay, he's got a pulse. He's got a pulse. Hello? No, I think so. Well, just the whole. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Ma'am, are you still there? That's coming. That's what the pulse yeah, is right now. <laughs> where, where, where are they now? Oh. <laughs> Kenny 911. Who who is on the other line? Um, yep. uh, yeah, this is Montgomery. Okay, so are you guys handling this? Um, we are. Yeah. She just said yeah. she okay. was on the Loudoun County yeah. side and insisted that Loudoun come yeah. 
Leesburg. Guys, how do you? Okay, I just wanted, I just wanted to make sure because we're, we just want to make know if we need to respond or not because someone transferred it back to us. Okay. Please get someone here. Ma'am. Ma'am. So do you? This is loud and still. Do you want me to disconnect? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm Kenny 911. What is your emergency? Hi, we have we have someone. We were just here on the phone down, and someone's drowning here in River Creek. Okay, we have help dispatched out there. Where exactly are you? There's. I'm sorry, but there is nobody here, and there hasn't been anybody here for 10 minutes. Okay, I understand, ma'am. They have to drive out there. I just want to confirm exactly where you are to make sure we're sending them to the right place. Confluence Park. It's all the way in the back of the gated community of River Creek. Is it near Perdido Bay? Sorry? Is it near Perdido Bay? I don't know where that is. It's um in the Cove. The news, the, there's a news helicopter right above us, but there's no paramedics here or anything. Okay. They have them out of the water. They're doing CPR and chest compression on the phone with another um, another medical person. If you come... Okay, they are doing the CPR? Creek. Yeah. Okay, are you at the River Creek Golf Course, right? Yeah, we're all the way in the back. All the way in the back. Okay, we've got them dispatched, okay? If you want to try to send someone out to the road so they can meet them to be able to direct them I'm where to go. Here. So I'm not here in the drive. You're I'm out there here. by the roadway? Yeah. Okay. Do you see a street sign around you so we can tell them the best way to access where you are? I don't know. There's no street signs. It's just along the golf course. Confluence Park. I, that's the only sign I can see right here. Constance Park. Okay, you sit by where the water is. What? Mom, I'm trying to get the police. They dispatched the paramedics, but they came to the other side of, they went to the Maryland side of Potomac. Okay, we have units coming from our side too, okay? Okay. It's all right, just take a deep breath, okay? Don't get yourself worked up. Do you know who the person is? I need to go. For, the paramedics aren't here yet. Sorry. Do you know who the person is? His name is Fitz. Okay, it's all right. Okay, just take a deep breath. We've we've got them on the way. They just got to get there. <laughs> You're directly across from where the Maryland units are, right? Yeah. Okay. That's where we have them coming, so. Do you want me to stay on the line until they get there, or do you want to just stand out there and make sure you it's wait okay. for them to flag them down? It's okay. I'll just wait here. Okay. Okay, call thank us back you. if anything changes, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Flash County 911, what is your emergency? Um, yeah, this is, we're in River Creek, in Leesburg, Virginia. There's a kid that drowned in the okay. river. Okay, are you... I mean, you we have... just had some girls that ran over up to us that came from the River Park area in the development. Okay, is it by and, um, where the water is? Yeah, is it's it... where the water is. We have a, a canoe launch Okay, is it Bonito Bay Terrace? 
Um, yeah, that's the road. Okay. 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 We have we have a lot of units in route. Okay. Can okay. You send okay. Someone up, I just can you send someone up to the road to direct the units on where to go? But we do have a lot of people in route. Okay, perfect. There's two girls that are actually running, but we'll we'll be at the entrance of the park area waiting. I'll okay. be waiting. All right. All right. We'll let them know. Okay. We have them in route. All right. Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Out loud. Loudon County 911, what is your emergency? Hey Loudon, it's like over the transfer. They have oh. a drowning victim up on the shore by the river. Sir, you need to give the address. I don't have an address. Okay, go ahead. I'm Park, 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 River Creek Country Club, 9 no. T-Box. You know what, give him my address. Excuse me. What? 9 T-Box, 9 T-Box at River Creek Country Club off River Creek Parkway. Go down Olympic and at the very end is the park. Please. How do you guys know? Okay. We, that, we already have them this. Ma'am. Okay, 43813. We're giving you a house. What is it? Bent Creek Terrace. Bent Creek Terrace. And that takes you right down to the park. Okay. I understand. We have units dispatched out there already. They just have to drive out there. We've got them dispatched to that. Minutes. It's been over 30 minutes. It's just been a dust. Okay? I'm just telling you guys. It's been 30 fucking minutes. Okay, I understand. They were originally thought it was on the Maryland side, ma'am. It's not acceptable. There's a helicopter being, a news for helicopter watching this whole thing unfold, and you guys can't get a freaking ambulance down here? We have units dispatched and on the way out there. No, it's not good enough. It is not good enough. Ninth Hole, River Creek Country Club, Ninth Hole. The T box of the ninth hole. You can't miss it. Okay, ma'am. Like I said, we have them dispatched out there. They just have to drive to get there. I understand. It takes Thirty-five minutes to get here. It takes five. Okay, you can talk to them when they get there. We have dispatched them. It looks like we have an ambulance coming down Olympic Boulevard now. So if you have someone in the road to flag them down. Okay, they're coming down Olympic Boulevard right now. Okay, we'll have someone down there. Okay. Guys, we're coming down Olympic Boulevard. Do we have? Some, do you guys have somebody down there? Go get them. Do you see them? Um, I'm walking down now. Do you guys see them at all? The ambulance. You hear them? Okay. You don't see them? We hear them. Okay. They're coming down. Let me see what the road's called. Bear Creek Terrace. Okay. Perfect. Let's get closer. Okay. Yes. It looks like they just turned on to Perdido Bay. Okay. Perfect. Is that close to you guys? Yeah. Do you see them? Okay. All right. Go ahead and flag them down. I'll let you go. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.